Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hot tea and I'm gonna dive into another chapter in the book and then we gotta get the day going. All right, I wrote my to-do list for today, so it's a longer one, but the stuff I'm doing shouldn't take all that long. Um, so I wanna clean the surfaces in the kitchen. Um, basically, just uh, like I'm not doing the insides of cupboards, I'm not doing the insides of the refrigerator, I just wanna wipe down the cupboards and the faces of the cabinets and the top of the cart that holds the toaster oven and the windowsill. Um, I want to vacuum and mop the kitchen hall in the half bath. I want to dust the hallway, which basically just consists of the little entryway table. I want to clean the half bath. I need to replace the filters in the Keurig and the Brita pitcher. I have a flower I need to repot. I do have some laundry to do, and I want to make some salsa to add to dinner tonight. And I'm probably going to do this first so that it has time to chill in the refrigerator. So, hi, it's me. No makeup today since I'm probably not going anywhere. If I get all of this stuff done early, um, I didn't um, do anything with myself yet. Um, I'll probably, do I wanna do that or not? I say about washing my hair this afternoon, but I don't know, maybe I'll let it go another day. Yeah, scratch that thought. So anyway, um, I'm going to quarter of nine so I'm going to start now with making salsa and if you watch yesterday's video you've seen that I do actually have to cook today um, so I'm going to make a new recipe tonight that I've never tried before it's called baked chicken taquitos so um, you've probably seen taquitos in the frozen section of grocery stores I know you can buy them at Costco and I have bought them pre-made already and they're actually very good um, but most of the time they're deep fried but I have a recipe that you fill the little mini the corn tortillas that I bought yesterday and we're going to bake them and crisp, crisp them up that way. So I already have my um, chicken out thawing. I'm using some rotisserie chicken that I had in the freezer so I don't have to actually cook the chicken ahead of time. So tonight for dinner we are going to have the chicken taquitos, some chips and salsa, and I do have some black beans that, and some rice that I will make for Mike as well. So, all right, let's get this day started. First thing, salsa. All right, I've made my homemade salsa on this channel plenty of times before. But just in case you're new, I'll go over what I use to make it. Um, I have my, my blender. I move that in the frame here. So I just put everything in the blender. I use a can of diced tomatoes and a can of Rotel. Cilantro I use kind of to taste. I wanted some fresh, didn't get any yesterday, so stuck with the dried. I use the juice of a whole lime. I use, I don't know, if I chop this, it's probably about a quarter cup of an onion. Um, just a small handful of jarred jalapenos. Obviously you can use a fresh jalapeno if you have it. And then as far as other seasonings go, I have about a half teaspoon of regular white sugar here. Then I have about a teaspoon of cumin, uh, like between a half and a teaspoon of regular salt. And this is about a teaspoon of garlic. And then I'm just going to dump that all in a blender and whir it up and pop in a container and throw it in the fridge.
well, nothing like having to taste salsa at 10 after 9 when I haven't had any other food. Well, someone's got to do it. Mmm. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. All right, into the fridge.
fresh and clean, smells good. I hate cooking in my kitchen when I have it this clean. Ugh. All right, so here's the flour I want to repot. Uh, friends of Mike and I, Cindy and Doug, she brought me this with some cookies after I came home from the hospital. So I'm going to put it in this much bigger pot. Um, and for now, it'll stay in the house, obviously. But once the weather gets nice, this will go out on my porch. Done. Except, my, see my little spot of water on the floor? <laughs> How'd I do there? Anyway, these two are just hanging out here in front of the deck doors. They're waiting on some warm weather. But it's probably going to be another four months at least till they get outside. Poor things. All right, I'm going to start working on my taquitos for dinner. So here I have a bowl of two cups, roughly, of, um, oh my gosh, my brain, two cups of shredded chicken. To that, I'm going to be adding, oh, I got a little piece of cheese in there. So I have um, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of paprika. I'm just going to add that right to the chicken. And then I'm also going to squeeze a lime in here. just going to mix this up until the chicken is coated in all of those yummy Southwest seasonings. All right, I'm going to add a cup of cheese. And again, same thing. Just stirring until combined. All right, so what I have now is two damp couple, well, this and tour, but I have two paper towels here. So I'm going to be putting the tortillas, like two at a time, I'm gonna put in between the damp paper towels and I'm gonna pop those in the microwave for about 20 seconds. All this is doing is um, making them a little more pliable so that they roll easier. So I'll be right back once I microwave those. All right, so now I'm just going to put some of the filling in the center of the tortillas. About a heaping tablespoonful. We're going to roll those up nice and tight. And then over here, you probably can't see it right now, but I have a baking sheet lined with foil and I have it sprayed. And I'm just going to start laying the tortillas seam side down, right up against each other. on my baking sheet. So I'm just going to keep up with doing this and I will show you what the baking sheet looks like when I'm all done. Okay, so this is what I have all finished. So I have 20 of them. You can see these corn tortillas, they just don't, I tried doing, like when I got here to the end, I tried rolling them without microwaving them first and making them soft and this is what is happening. So yeah, don't try to take a shortcut like I did. Take the time to microwave them between the damp paper towels, every one of them. But anyway, 
I laid them tight together on the baking sheet and then I sprayed the whole tops of them with some more nonstick non -stick cooking spray. So that's gonna help them crisp up in the oven. So they are going to go in a 425 degree oven. Now, I'm thinking probably 20 minutes to a half hour only because I'm working with chicken that is cold. But if you're working with chicken that is like still warm, like you've just made it, then you could probably get away with 15 to 20 minutes. All right, here they are out of the oven. So the ones that I did in paper towels to start, they stayed together. The ones that I didn't put in paper towels, they split. So don't be a slacker like me if you're going to make these. Make sure you put them in paper towels first so they come out that you can pick them up and dip them. I'm not going to be able to pick these up and dip them anything. They're going to fall apart, but these I could. And a taquito is meant to be like a finger food. You pick it up, you dip it in salsa or sour cream or whatever you want. That's not going to happen with these. But I'm sure they'll taste good. Well, like I showed you, they don't look the prettiest, but I'm hoping they taste good. So we have all our fixings out for on them. So we have some chips and jarred salsa as well as the salsa I made this morning. Lettuce and tomatoes, some guac, some sour cream. So what do you think? Good. Other than being messy. All right, time to organize a drawer and fold a load of towels, and I've completed my to do list. Done. I can't do this with one hand. Done. Everything on my list. That's when you know it's a good day. Well, that's going to do it for Wednesday. Today, I think I'm going to have me a lime bar and watch some YouTube and go to bed. Have my shower. All set. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.